a good afternoon to you. What have been the main points of that speech? Well, I am struggling to hear you there a bit, Stephen, but uh, of course, as anticipated and as it was said earlier on that uh, we had anticipated that uh, two of the departments, Department of Health and the Department of Education would be the ones to get majority uh, of the focus within uh, the budget. Now, we're going to talk to MEC Mvog, or the MEC of Economic Affairs in the Eastern Cape, just to uh, more or less, uh, MEC, I mean, we, what do you anticipate in the reaction that you're going to get now following uh, your, your budget speech, after you have delivered your budget speech, and seeing exactly which departments have been allocated and how much funding has been given to those specific departments? Well, as I indicated in the, in the, in the speech, firstly, there's no new money. Uh, this is just a reprioritization of the budget. So I'm not expecting uh, even the MECs to be uh, very much excited. Uh, about the budget, considering that this has been reprioritization. We have, uh, our, 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 we have uh, as a province, we are challenged financially. We only get 86 billion, and we fork out 1.5 billion to balance our budget from our provincial um, uh, revenue fund. So uh, we have a deficit from what is being allocated to us. So um, many departments have has serious challenges in terms of uh, the, allo the allocations because it does not meet uh, what they actually requested. So there's never been enough money. So um, that's what I'm... But I'm expecting that at least, uh, given what we have provided to the Department of Education, uh, that uh, <clears throat> there wouldn't be much uh, uh, challenges in issues like LTSM, as there has been a, hu a, far, a huge cry about it. We've provided for them now in advance. They know what they have. It's up to them now to procure and make sure that by the time uh, books and whether stationery or textbooks are required by schools, it's there already because we've given them now. We've even given them fund for the education assistance for them to continue with the, with the program. We've given that they know today how much they would have in the new financial year, say they should be doing a lot of preparation. So in general, uh, health is, is the biggest, one of the biggest challenges. But we don't have extra money to give to health. What we have to be dealing with in health is to deal with the medical legal. We are assisting them as provincial treasury and OTP to, do, to deal with that. No, thank you so much, MEC Vogel. Now, moving on to the MEC of Education, MEC Gade. Now, of course, the man of the moment here, Stephen, you would say, uh, is seeing that majority of the budget between Department of Health and the Department of Education also uh, being looked at as one of the uh, you know, one or two of the departments that are in issue, having a huge problem uh, financially, but now I'm sure this will take a, a bit of a load off of your shoulders. Yes, I can. I can. Good, good afternoon to you. Uh, good afternoon to the viewers uh, as well. Yes, of course, I can safely say so that it has come to our rescue. We would understand that we have been having a crisis financially of managing our. Um, our mandated uh, positions uh, in terms of finances, your learner support material, which has been a challenge one, and also systems in terms of the policy pronouncements that we have made in the previous policy, policy speech, your infrastructure shortages, uh, stopping up contracts uh, on the basis that we're unable to finish up the projects that were built uh, for more than five years ago. So, so it, it is going to go a long way uh, in stabilizing the sector and also in also responding to the upward trajectory that the province is having in terms of metric results. I think, uh, you know, mostly we see majority of South Africans, most especially those from the Eastern Cape, would want to know that, you know, within this financial year, ensuring that the money trail is going to be followed to the T. I mean, the department had issues uh, recently with infrastructure where uh, one of those that were issued a tender supposedly disappeared with money to make sure that issues like that do not come up again within this new financial year. Uh, seeing that schools are being tended to, you know, there's been a lot of talk around, you know, pit toilet.
See, Pekema, of course, li of course, live there in the middle of that conversation with MECs in the Eastern Cape after that budget speech. Unfortunately, that line uh, dropping for us. We'll have more updates for you from our reporter, Sipa Kemet, and those interviews as we go through the afternoon.